Carrie Donnelly and these Jindal channel, don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our virtual happy hour here at Emmy's Gym Mill Channel. Let me know, what are you drinking? Because we are gearing up for the beginning of summer. So hopefully you're drinking something fun and refreshing and exciting, which is what I have just for you today. In just a few minutes, the coolest thing that I found. So before we get into it, let's bring Miss Judy Gannon in and see what's going on with her. Hi. Hi there. How are you? Good. How are you? It is summer. It is summer. A hundred percent. So I hope everyone has gone to their dollar store and got their dollar noodle. We've got what are we going to do with these pool noodles? Well, you know, whether you're in the hottest place in the world, Florida right now, or... <laughs> or even New York is, is quite um, warm getting there. You know, everyone's opening up their pools, they're blowing up their blow up pools, they're getting their rafts and everything, you know. You gotta have your little drink floaties, right? Absolutely. I've got this adorable little, um, this is called a hunk drink holder. Oh, a hunk. <laughs> <laughs> a man. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> but um, I just thought because it's it's really warm here, you guys. If you're not in Florida, I think it's about 250 degrees here. Yeah, it definitely feels like that. I mean, when you open your oven and it's on and that blows at your face, you know, that's what it feels that's like when you open your door to your house right now. Absolutely. You definitely don't want to turn your oven on right now. <laughs> But I found something. So in my handy dandy hunk drink holder right here, I have found this cutest, adorable little beer. Okay, it's pink. It's so cute. Pink it's, beer? It's pink beer. So it's Blue Point Summer Blonde Ale, and it's made with a grapefruit taste. So kind of like, like a squirt in a beer. Oh, okay. And I just got it into the gin mill in Port Pierce, Florida. And I did sample it, but I'm going to have another sample because it's very good. Candy Dandy Hunk Drink Holder right here. It tastes like I have found this cutest, adorable little beer. It tastes like grapefruit. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It tastes like grapefruit beer. And I'm telling you, I think that the seltzer lovers will love this. Oh, there you go. So if you're a seltzer lover, try this Blue Point Summer Blonde Ale. So my little guy's going to hold it right over here for us. And there is another good picture of it. It's so cute. Anytime Sunshine Blonde Ale. Made with grapefruit. It's 100 calories and it's only um, 4%. So you're not going to get too blotto. Smart. So... Okay, so I made something, and I have to get into it right now because otherwise it's going to melt. Ooh, I like when you make things that could potentially melt. <laughs> okay, so here's what we've got. I'm going to show you this first. Here we have popsicles. All right, so here's what I have done. So I've got a little video of what I did with gummy bears so here we go i have submerged gummy bears in tito's vodka obviously the unofficial sponsor vodka of md's jimmel channel yes so i submerged it for about two hours i let the little gummy bears swim around do the backstroke in the tito's i was a little nice jealous. i was jealous so yeah. Pour in your lemonade only. So then, to get it all you do is. Well, let me show you the finished version first. This is. Which one did I like the best? 
this one. This is a vodka soaked gummy bear in lemonade frozen popsicle. Wow, it's so pretty. Oh, uh, it's really good too. I bet. But the gummy bears are frozen. And then it's going to take me a couple minutes to get through this, sorry. Frozen and vodka soaked and potent. Like you're doing a shot when you eat that gummy bear. Very, very strong. <laughs> well, Jesus says he's drinking coffee with amaretto. Mm. And Erica says, hey, hey, looking so beautiful. Hi, Erica. See, now here's the key, you guys. Okay, so first you submerge your gummy bears for about two hours. No longer than that. Otherwise, they just turn all like just muck. They melt down. They get gooey. So then, hi, Lila. Hey, oh. Lila. Hey, Sue says, Mary said to save her one. And she, I, I got you. As soon as we're done, come on over. I'll get you one. Nice. So, so okay. Then you take your lemonade and you pour <clears> it <throat> only about a quarter of a way. Drop some of the submerged gummy bears in. Okay. And I've got a video here. Just, they're, they get really slimy. So you can try to. But wash your hands first, obviously. Yes. Drop in some gummy bears in the bottom, like you see there. Okay. Then let that freeze for about an hour so it gets kind of slushy. Okay. Then drop the rest. Do it. You're going to do it three parts. Then you drop more gummy bears in and do it again, do it again. That way they don't all fall to the bottom of your popsicle. Smart. So that way you've got all different colors all the way throughout. Perfect treat for your Memorial Day weekend upcoming. Nice. So we'll put these over here. We got to get those back frozen so that we can get them out. Yeah, because Mary's going to come over and have one. I got you, girl. You're in. They're really good. So, okay. Ooh, my gosh. Ooh, those are strong. So did you know, we always talk about gin. We do. And then we talk about Heather and your mom. Yes. I it's like hand in hand. <laughs> Hi, ladies. If I win the lottery, I'm sending them to Madrid because this is the coolest thing ever. There is something called a pub marine in Madrid. And Hendrix Gin is coming out with their Neptunia, and they have this submerged at the bottom of one of their main aquariums in Madrid. And you go down in your little scuba gear, and somehow they feed you drinks. Oh! I don't know how, but as sharks and bottlenose, like, whatever's are, are, are swimming around you, you're drinking a Neptunia and tonic. All right. I don't, it says <laughs> specialized scuba wear. Now I consulted, ah, oh, thank you, Mary. I consulted uh, some of our production crew here who's into scuba and he had no answer for me. So I don't know how you can go down. <laughs> no. I, I don't like, know. It must be like some special helmet or something. I'm not sure. I mean, if you go back to that picture, they've got like, you know, if you put those helmets over your head, maybe the straw goes up the helmet and you can suck the gin and tonic through the straw. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, those guys right there are having a drink. Or maybe you just like pretend to have a drink down there. And then when you go up, you have the drink. <laughs> I don't know. But they're also raising funds for marine ecosystems. So this is a limited time, obviously. So if you are over in Madrid, you want to check it out. And if you like nice. it, I mean, we'll see. I'm heading to Spain and not to dance flamenco. <laughs> All right. So back to our favorite, favorite, favorite topic in the world, White Claw Seltzers. 
We love them so much. <laughs> they have said that this is their best ever. This is their refresher line that's going to be out in a few weeks. White Claw Refresher. And we've got Blood Orange, Blackberry, Strawberry, and Limon. And this is their best ever, they keep saying. So we'll find out. We will find out. I don't know. It, it just, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. But okay, so Hard Rock. Hard Rock is kind of like one of our favorite places. I know Judy and I love going there. We do. It's true. But there's also hotels, not just the casinos. They got hotels all over the world. And they yes, get, they do. They do. And you know, I guess you don't have to gamble, but you know, but the Hard Rock Hotel in New York City in Midtown Manhattan just opened over the weekend. And with your Hard Rock Seminole card that most of us have, it's now interchangeable with all Hard Rock properties, hotels, whatever. Everything's interchangeable. And you can get points. Even if you're playing down here or going to a hotel up there, you'll get points. So the New York City property just opened up over the weekend, and they've got – it's cool. It's super freaking cool. They have record players in every hotel room. They've got, upon request, a Fender guitar so you can jam out in your room. Nice! <laughs> they've got a rooftop bar. They've got one of the largest music venues for, like, you know, small music venues, you know, within – not like Madison Square Garden, but I really see this as becoming something super cool for, you know, more regional style bands and stuff to go to. So if you're, you know, down in New York and got your Seminole Hard Rock card, you're, check it out. You'll get some points. Nice. And happy birthday to one of the best Cabernets I've ever tasted in my life. Silver Ooh. Oak Cabernet is turning 50 years old today. Wow. Oh, my God. It is one of the most delightful cabs I've ever tasted upon, obviously, special occasion only because it's out of my price point. Ah. But it is absolutely delicious. And it's become kind of trendy for the young 20-somethings in Vegas. They're ordering it. And this summer coming out is a 500-milliliter bottle that they are selling for like $5,000. But anyways, so cheers to Silver Oak Cabernet turning 50. Happy years. birthday. Maybe they'll send us a bottle. Oh my God, can you imagine? That'd be so yum. Ooh. <laughs> and Natty Ice is back. Natty Light, I'm sorry. Natty Light is back on the scene for Memorial Day. If you buy a case of Natty Light Lemonade, which I have a picture of here. It's the red, white, and blue can. It's a lemonade-flavored beer. You buy a case of it, go on their website, naturallight.com, submit your receipt. They will pay you for it. Well, there you go. I mean, is that's the only way they can get people to drink it. Lemonade-flavored beer. I'm, like, over here cringing. Lemonade-flavored <laughs> Natty Light. Beer. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Exactly. I'm not sure. So, okay. When you're, okay, so when you go to the Hard Rock in New York, if you go and you're flying through the airport and you stop in LaGuardia, just know that now they're not going to take as much advantage of you at the bars because something went viral last week where they, somebody paid $23 for one domestic beer. Wow. And people got pissed off on their checks. It said 10% COVID recovery fee. They had the credit card fee. They had everything on there. So that one like Bud Light or Miller Light, whatever it was, turned out to be $23. That's crazy. So the people in charge said, eh, no more, pulling the plug on that. And now all concessions at the airport cannot exceed more than 10% of the local off airport street price nice so that means in new york city 
I was going to say, you're almost still 20 bucks. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure how that works, but, you know, I guess maybe you could probably get a Bud Light. When I was traveling this summer, I think even in Vegas, most Bud Lights were like 9 maybe $10 top. So 10% over that, I mean, what are they, they'll be charging like 14 bucks. So you're saving like $10 now that people got involved. But the people that did get ripped off, they were refunded. And everything is good, good in LaGuardia. Nice. Things are going up, though. Have you noticed? I have. Ooh. It's insane. And, you know, I, I didn't want to be negative, but I just have to touch on the subject for just one second. You know, for the last six months or seven months, everything really seemed to be going great, didn't it? Yes. You know, things were all right. You know, you couldn't get certain things here and there. But now what I'm noticing being, you know, not only in the biz, but, you know, I'm, I'm ordering lots of stuff for different bars and stuff. And I can't get what I couldn't get. But now I can't even get the deliveries. Like last week, two different companies said, oh, well, um, I only have two people working right now. Sorry, your, your delivery will come next week. I'm like, what? Yeah. You know, and yeah. then, you know, then I, I just got a delivery today for $23. You have to sip it slowly. <laughs> yeah, you do. Nice. Yeah, you do. But, you know, even today I got a delivery and they said, oh, sorry. They just forgot to put it on the truck. So, you know, how do you explain to your customers? Oh, sorry, somebody forgot. I, I don't I don't understand. <laughs> so it, it's, it's crazy right now. Like you said, I mean we're coming into summer and everybody knows that summer in the in the restaurant world and the bar world things start to slow down. But now with all the like you're saying you we have the gas prices going up, the employee shortages, the driver shortages the tourists gone, you know, everything, people's rent going up. They're saying 56% of people, the first thing they're cutting out is dining out in bars because of all of this inflation right now. Right. It's crazy. And, you know, it's like, I don't know, uh, we have a lot of viewers in the Port St. Lucie area. We haven't had our garbage or recyclables or our recyclables picked up in well over, got over a week or so. And... They're saying that it will not ever get picked up. No, actually, they said they're canceling recycling in Port St. Lucie until further notice. I, like, don't even try to recycle right now because it's going out as garbage. That's it. I, it's crazy. Aren't we trying to save the world? Well, I, I guess we're switching garbage companies and they can't handle the garbage and the recyclables at the same time. I was walking yesterday morning and I couldn't stand the smell of walking in 90 degree heat and the stench of all of this garbage and, you know, most, not everybody puts just recyclables in their recyclables. Yeah. It smells so bad. And now they said, well, you can bring it to the dump. I'm like, I'm going to put that in the back of my brand new car. No, thank you. <laughs> It'll just stay there. It's, it's crazy, but you know, what I've been thinking is, you know what, that's okay, because we've got a virtual happy hour every Monday, you guys, you can stay home and have drinks with us. That's right. You yeah. can, and you know what, they said right now, beer is cheaper than gas, so drink, don't and drive. <laughs> cheaper, and I have found at walmart.com, you can order and go have it, you don't get charged if you... Uh, get it, order it, and go and just sit there and they bring it out to you. It's the cheapest beer I found, under $20 a case for your domestic beers at walmart.com. So that's a good thing because everywhere else, the local supermarkets are at $24, $25 a case of beer. Yes. We know that people are buying a lot of beer coming up for this Monday, Memorial Day, so walmart.com. Just have them bring it out to your truck, car, whatever. That's right. It's great. So, also, Kraken. I used to have this rum called Kraken, and it's the top-selling dark rum, believe it or not, which I don't think a lot of people know. It sells more than Meyer's dark rum. 
and it's very good. They have just come out with an RTD. Oh, yeah? They have. And, I mean, I haven't seen or tried any rum-based RTDs. Now, this, they've got a cola, a punch, and a ginger beer. And I, I'd like to try that. I mean, rum-based, an RTD might be okay. It might be good, yeah. I mean, it's no kind of upside-down mimosa, but, you know. But I'm down to try it. <laughs> or the Latin Lover Gin. This should be all of this should be gin day, but look at this Latin Lover Gin. This gin just came out and it's available only in Florida right now. Latin Lover Gin. Look at that beautiful bottle. It's so cute. And each one's a different flavor. They've got a spice. They've got lover they've got all these crazy flavors and each one's got a little you know different notes in it but only available here latin lover gin so if somebody tries it let us know because you know judy and i aren't going to be trying that no we're not <laughs> and heather check it out for us and let us know please yes but anyways you know get your pool floats ready and get your noodles ready these actually at the dollar store they have not gone up they're still a dollar nice i did notice they're i think they're a little cheaper made i'm not quite sure but anyways it's going to be a great week you guys summer starting for everybody kids are pretty much done with school here at least in florida and graduations are happening so next monday is memorial day and we will be doing our show live yep We'll see what happens, but I've got some great ideas. We're going to do some blind taste tests with random people that may or may not be hanging around the studio next week. So, Oh, very nice. Very yeah. nice. So, you know that guy that always says, I can't drink Miller Lite. I only drink Bud Light. Oh, nice. We're going to see if they can tell the difference. I'm going to do little different taste tests of different things and... It'll be fun. It'll be really fun to see what everybody's got going on. But until then, if you want a popsicle, come on by. I got a couple left. Otherwise, check it out. Oh, wait, I forgot. The most coolest thing this past week. I did not get a chance to go to it, but a friend of mine did. Judy, have you heard of the midget wrestling? Yes, I have. Down at Renegades in West Palm, right? <laughs> no, this was your local last Tuesday night at Hop Life Brewing. They had midget wrestling. Look at this video. <laughs> Wait a second. It'll be up in just one sec. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Right? Uh, oh, my God. This is hysterical. There we go. Look at these little guys. Oh my gosh. Micro wrestling. Oh, he's going to pick him up right now. Watch this. Whoa! <laughs> he's a strong little guy. <laughs> I know, Kevin. I know. Kevin said, stop it. <laughs> that is so great. Oh, my God. That is fantastic. Oh, courtesy of a friend of ours, Darren. Thank you so much, Darren, for sending us the video. He went down to Hop Life and checked it out. I think there's a couple pictures, if I can get them up real quick. Just There's one guy who's dressed as an Indian. It's hysterical. Oh, my God. I guess not. So, okay. That's all right. So cheers to the micro wrestling. They said that it'll be back in October at Hop Life Brewing Company over in Port St. Lucie, Florida. But if you get a chance, you guys, too funny. But until then, you guys, have a great week. We will see you on Memorial Day live next Monday at 6 o'clock. Thank you to Exchange of America. Booze Bandage, Bogies and Stogies, and the Gin Mill, Fort Pierce, Florida. And thank you to Judy, and cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.